What's up, people of the present and the future? I'm Silver the Hedgehog, and we're reacting to the top 40 amazing weather phenomenon. Now, I'm just going to get a bunch of stuff out of the way. First off, I'm on Slime.exe's channel because, you know, he already, rea he already reacted to this. And, like, all right, I just found out that it doesn't matter whether it's a task top video or any video in general. But as long as you get close to the end of it or all the way to the end of it, the video will reset itself to the beginning. So on Slime.exe's profile, that's why it's at the beginning because... We was able to be because he restarted to the beginning after watching it. And um uh let's just go, all right? I ain't wasting no time. This video contains flashing lights yep. and is not suitable for viewers who suffer from bronchophobia. Yeah. Viewer discretion advised. Oh and bronchophobia is a fear of lightning, guys. Whoa, what the world? Like what the heck? The weather changes daily. Yep. Watch it long enough, and you might witness some of the most amazing. Phenomenon. Oh. Our atmosphere shows off so many strange and wondrous displays. Cool. But oftentimes these brilliant phenomena happen so rarely yep. and in so many widespread places across the world right. that they're almost never seen. Yep. From cloud formations and thunderstorms yep. to sun illuminations and rainbows. Uh -huh. We've covered them oh all gosh. in the top 40 amazing weather phenomena. Those are so cool in that fire rainbow. I know I never gave my reaction to that back there. Well, I'm not sure it looks fire rainbow. I don't know what that is. But that thing about that rainbow looking thing, that was cool. I never reacted to gave my reaction to it though. So, 40. Alright, we're going to 32. Water spouts and snow spouts. Alright. Water spouts look like many tornadoes made of water. Uh huh. And they are always located below a cloud and above a body of water. Yep. While they seem to suck up liquid from the water they are located above, yeah. they are actually little water droplets formed by condensation. Amazing. Stronger water spouts are usually quite dangerous, what? posing threats to ships, planes, helicopters, and swimmers. All right. It is recommended to keep a considerable distance from these phenomena. Why? And to always be on alert through weather reports. Well, they are dangerous. An extremely rare occasion is a snow spout. What? which is a water spout forming under the base of a snow squall. Snow squall. Very little is known about this phenomenon. Right. But it has been captured on video. But it is on video. So if you go to YouTube and search up snow spout or water spout, you find a video about those phenomena at number 40. Because now we're on number 39. What's it going to be? Morning glory clouds. Oh my gosh, that music. The morning glory clouds are a rare meteorological phenomenon. Awesome. Occasionally observed in different locations around the world. Wow. The southern part of northern Australia's Gulf of Carpentaria yeah. is the only known location where it can actually be predicted and observed yeah. on a more or less regular basis. More or less, correct. They can stretch over 1,000 kilometers long. Yep. Yeah. And occur at altitudes of up to two kilometers. Now that's cool. The morning glory is often accompanied by sudden wind squalls. Wind squalls. Intense low-level wind shear. Yep. A rapid increase in the vertical displacement of air parcels. Yeah. And a sharp pressure jump at the surface. Oh. In the front of the cloud, there is a strong vertical motion that transports air up through the cloud awesome. and creates the rolling appearance. I like that. While the air in the middle and rear of the cloud becomes turbulent sinks. Sinks? These tubes in the surrounding air yep. can cause dangerous turbulence for planes when near. Uh-oh. Morning glory clouds are not to be confused, however, with roll clouds. So based on what that thing just said, roll clouds can produce a similar effect to the morning glory clouds. Huh. Can't wait to see the roll clouds appear up in here if they do. 38. Green flash. Wow! This phenomenon usually occurs during sunrise or sunset, mm -hmm. when more of the light reaches the observer without being scattered first. Right. The green of the flash is caused by light being bent ben. and refracting back into the atmosphere. Right. The atmosphere acts as a prism of sorts, yeah. separating light into various colors. Okay. When the sun fully rises above the horizon, the different colors of the spectrum overlap, overlap, causing the spectrum to be invisible to the naked eye. Huh. It's called a flash because that is exactly what it is. Wait, what? The green is only visible for a few flashes, for a few seconds at a time. I saw it, and y'all should have too. Because unlike Son.exe, where you had a camera aim at him looking at the screen, where it was blurry, it's act you can actually see it clear here. Because the screen recorder and webcam. Ha, boob. Yep. 
The Haboob is a strong sandstorm and is often associated with thunderstorms and even small tornadoes. Yeah. A Haboob usually lasts about three hours what? and are strongest in April and May, For real? but occur in every month except November. That's good. When this downdraft or downburst reaches the ground, yeah. dry, loose sand from the desert set settings is essentially blown up, blown up creating a wall of sediment preceding the storm cloud what? this wall of sand can be up to 100 kilometers wide and several kilometers in elevation yeah at their strongest habu winds can travel at 20 to 30 miles per hour what? and they may approach with little to no warning why in north america sandstorm walls associated with severe thunderstorms are also called habu yeah they are often caused by the gust front of cold air from supercell thunderstorms of course. and are especially frequent in Arizona and Texas with wind speeds around 30 to even 50 miles per hour. Well, that's very extraordinary. 36. Y'all remember where I said we stopped? 32. We're at 36. What's it going to do? Dust devils. What? Dust devils are usually harmless <laughs> tornadoes that pick up dirt and that dust. That thing is so small. But can, on tornado. rare occasions, grow large <laughs> oh, enough oh, to pose a threat to both people I'm sorry. and property. Please forgive me. Dust devils form when hot air near the surface oh. rises quickly through a small pocket of cooler, low pressure air above. That's sort of big. If conditions are just right, yeah. the air may begin to rotate. Mm -hmm. As the air rapidly rises, the column of hot air is stretched vertically, yeah. causing intensification of the spinning effect by conservation of angular momentum. Are you serious? They're comparable to tornadoes what? in the fact that they are both a weather phenomenon yeah. of vertically oriented rotating columns of air. How? Most tornadoes are associated with a larger parent circulation, the mesocyclone on the back of a supercell thunderstorm. Yeah. Dust devils form as a swirling updraft under sunny conditions during fair weather. Fair. Rarely coming close to the intensity of a regular tornado. Yep. Most dust devils are very small and weak. Yeah. Often less than three feet in diameter. Yeah, but the guys are right. That thing is pretty small. If you look right down to it, you'll see it's the most puniest tornado around. 35. Belt of Venus. Whoa! The Belt of Venus is a phenomenon that occurs during dusty evenings. Yeah. Just before sunrise uh -huh. or after sunset. What? Part of the atmosphere above the horizon appears slightly off color, slightly pink or orange. All right. This off color band between the dark eclipse sky and the blue sky can be seen in nearly every direction, including that opposite of the sun. <laughs> the belt of Venus can be seen from any location with a clear horizon. I'm excited! The belt of Venus is seen in many panoramic photo shoots and landscape photos. Mm -hmm. The subtle changes in dusk and dawn sky are marvelous. Right. But this phenomenon, the belt of Venus, yep. is particularly subtle because most people like to see the sunset or sunrise and rarely turn around to look at the other horizon. Right. Next time you get a chance. Yeah. Look, mm -hmm. and you'll be pleasantly surprised, particularly if you witness it at full moon with crystal clear horizon. Now that's something, team, to watch out for. Now, the software we're using now is called Media Core, Media Core Capture. And it's letting us record as long as we want, unlike Screencastify. 34. Sun Shower. What? A sun shower is a phenomenon in which rain falls while the sun is shining. Something. Sun showers are viewed as harbingers of true storms to come. Wow! Indicating that a storm will occur at the same time in the next few days. Sorry about that, team. Sun showers are often known to create one or more rainbows, although a rainbow can only appear when the sun is at a low enough angle, which is generally in the morning yeah. or late evening. Yeah! Additionally, the phenomenon has a wide range of sometimes remarkably similar folkloric names and culture around the world. Like which ones? A common theme is that of trickster animals, huh? the devil, Whoa. getting married, oh, and even good luck. The devil getting married. Although many variations of parts of this theme exist. So until we get the full version of Screencastify, which will be on Sign Shop to Nod's birthday, which is October 8th, we got to deal with media core capture because, yeah, Screencastify cut short. Fogbo. Oh! There are various different names for fog Fogbo. Fogbo. Such as sea dogs, yep. cloud bows, yeah. or white rainbows. Of course. Like a normal rainbow, yep. a fog bow is created with the diffraction of light through mm. water droplets. Right. But in the case of fog bows, what? very small water droplets create the effect. Awesome. In a fog bow, 
The water droplets in the mist are too small to refract and reflect light, meaning the arc appears to be white, although some can feature weaker colors. Yep. A fog bug can occur anywhere that thin fog is masking fairly bright sunshine. Uh -huh. So, the phenomenon is most likely to emerge when the rising sun is less than halfway toward midday. No, no joke! Alright guys, so that was part one of this reaction video to the weather phenomenon. Part two is coming, so I hope you're hyped for that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in that one. See you later, people of the present and the future.